talking a little bit about the Evenflow Summit pressure mounted gate. It's made by a company named Evenflow. It's available for about um, $37 from Amazon.com and is Prime eligible. So if you do have an Amazon Prime membership, there's free shipping. Uh, according to information on the internet, it's also available for about $40 or so at your local brick and mortar stores. I believe it's available at Walmart, although I've never seen it there. So first off, uh, talk a little bit about my need for the gate. As you can see, we, uh, we have a couple dogs in the house and the idea is to keep them out of the bedroom. So, you know, really I just needed a gate that kept the dogs out. It didn't have to be 100% bulletproof against children. I wasn't super concerned about the distance in between the bars since I don't have an infant and all of my dogs are large enough that they can't put their heads through the bars. Now, depending on your needs, you may need a different gate. This gate is um, definitely capable of doing the job that I need, but um, if you have really high risk or very specific needs, you might need to buy something a little bit more expensive that meets your needs. So, um, briefly, I used to have a regular style baby gate with the arm that goes in the middle and uses pressure and tension to keep the gate upright. However, we found that it was really problematic to keep going over that gate or to remove it every time we wanted to go through, particularly if we were carrying something into the bedroom like laundry to fold or you know if we just wanted to come and go in the bedroom easily. So I started looking into gates with doors and a lot of the gates with doors are very expensive. A friend of mine has one that's very nice. It looks a little bit nicer than this even flow gate and uh, operates a little bit more easily but it was $90. So for less than $40 you know for for what I needed it for I was willing to go with something that didn't look quite as nice and was a little bit more difficult to operate just due to cost savings. So the Evenflow Summit gate mounts up um, by four of these screws, these are bolts that are padded, and they go into your door frame. Uh, they don't actually, you don't need to drill, they don't permanently um, mar your door frame. What happens is there's a bolt with um, a padded foot on the end of it, which you can sort of see in the shot, it's white, it's a white kind of soft plastic disc. And then there's this harder um, brown plastic disc, and this is the part that's actually threaded for the bolt. The um, pipe here, the inside frame of the gate, is not threaded, and this caused a lot of confusion on my part when I was installing the gate. The instructions don't tell you that it's this disc here that holds the tension, so I kept putting the foot all the way into the frame, thinking, you know, maybe my gate wasn't built right because there weren't any threads in it. So if you buy this gate, keep in mind that this little guy right here is what keeps everything tense, um, keeps tension in everything. Now there's four of these. The manufacturer recommends that you keep the gate level when you install it and I think that's definitely important. The gate door will not latch properly if the gate is uneven. So you may need help not because the gate is heavy or difficult to install but because it's a little bit difficult to keep everything level just by yourself. So one person to keep it steady and the other person to screw the feet down. Now the other part of the gate that is um, supposedly very important during installation is uh, this part. This is actually the handle and when you get the gate there will be a zip tie around here, a very heavy gauge zip tie, plastic zip tie, and then a cardboard cover that goes over this part. And what that does apparently is it keeps the, the very high tension spring in here from uh, coming undone and apparently it's quite dangerous. There's like several warnings in the packaging about the zip tie and the cardboard. Now Mine shipped, it was drop shipped in its original packaging, so it wasn't in a protective box, it wasn't protected in any, in any way, and it was banged up a lot. So when I opened the box, both the zip tie and the protective cardboard were broken. Uh, apparently if it springs open on you while you're installing it, it can hurt you, but since mine was already open, it was just a big pain to put it back together. What I had to do is take um, twine, take rope, and cinch my gate together right here little by little, so I would squeeze the gate together, cinch it up, squeeze the gate together and cinch it up. If this happens to you, you can fix it. You don't need to necessarily take it back or, or send it back to wherever you bought it from, but it is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and as you can see, the gate works. Two of my dogs are on the other side of the, of the gate here. Hi, Pearl. Um, and it actually does a really good job keeping them out. Both dogs that you see in the shop could probably jump over the gate, but um, fortunately my Dogs don't know how to jump over gates, so that's good.
All right, I want to talk a little bit about the handle and how you open the gate because it's a little confusing at first. There are two um, buttons. There's one here and there's one on the opposing side. And you have to press both of them with, and I like to use my thumb and my index finger, you have to press both of them at the same time and then you push down on the handle itself. There's a little tiny dot here. Green um, means that the gate is closed and red is danger that your gate is open and that your child may run headlong into your blast furnace or something. So you squeeze both buttons and you push down and then the gate swings open really easily. Then when you let go, this little nub comes out and that's what latches the gate. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, because this nub is plastic, that's why I advised you at the beginning of the video, if you have like really high risk safety concerns, like you don't, maybe if you have human children or whatever, I'm afraid of the durability of that plastic nub. It's fairly solid, but again, it's plastic. I would have liked to have seen something that's maybe metal or something that's a little bit more durable. Um, now, the problem with this uh, handle design is that it's really only meant to be used in this direction, in this orientation. And I find that if I'm leaving the bedroom and I'm going this way down the hallway, it's easy because that's the way that my body is shaped. However, if I'm coming into the bedroom, my hand actually faces the opposite direction. So I wish that there was a more universal way to open the gate requiring this pinch right here. Uh, you can open the gate backwards. And what that means is you can take your hand and put it backwards over the gate like this and then push down with the front of your hand but it's a lot more difficult as you can see. So again, I'm pinching more with my thumb and middle finger and then I'm just kind of pressing down this way with my hand. I don't really recommend that, but um, you know, sometimes you're carrying a basket of laundry and the only way to open the gate is with the reverse grip. It is possible, but it does point out a um, design flaw in the gate that some of the more expensive gates don't have where you just lift open the or lift the top of the bar and the gate opens. However, for under $40 delivered, I think the Evenflow Summit pressure mounted gate is a pretty good deal. It does exactly what we want it to do. It's a lot easier to get in and out of the bedroom now. Um, I, we're definitely happy with it. There are things that I would like to see improved upon, but I think overall for the money given the rest of the market, it's a pretty good deal and I definitely recommend it. This is Dr. Falcon. If you like this video, um, check out my others on YouTube. I also run a blog which can be found at journal.drfalcon.com where I talk about all sorts of stuff, not just product reviews. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, you can always send me an email on my blog or post comments in the YouTube thread. Thanks a lot. Hey there, this is Dr. Falcon, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Evenflow Summit pressure-mounted gate. It's made by a company named Evenflow. It's available for about um, $37 from Amazon.com and is Prime eligible, so if you do have an Amazon Prime membership, there's free shipping. Uh, according to information on the internet, it's also available for about $40 or so at your local brick and mortar stores. I believe it's available at Walmart, although I've never seen it there. So first off, uh, talk a little bit about my need for the gate. As you can see, we, uh, we have a couple dogs in the house and the idea is to keep them out of the bedroom. So, you know, really I just needed a gate that kept the dogs out. It didn't have to be 100% bulletproof against children. I wasn't super concerned about